Welcome Collective. Thank you guys very much for joining me today for this read. Uh, I want to thank you guys too again. Thank you for all of your, your likes, your subscribes, uh, your thumbs up, your comments, your views. You guys are absolutely awesome. I really appreciate the support for the channel guys. Uh, let's delve into your tarot read today. So we want to see, let's see whose story comes out today. Whose message this is going to be for. So Spirit, can you please bring forward the message? Whoa, that needs to be heard the most. We got a huge pile of cards. Let's see. Unbothered. Oh yeah, you got, you got someone who's kind of like, it's like a copycat kind of energy. It's been coming out quite a lot in our reads energies, like jealous, jealous energies have been coming out a lot. Victim, yeah, someone's a chaser. They can't resist and want to be chased back. They're craving attention. This person pretends like they don't care about what other people say. They're like, I don't care what people think about me. That's a lie. <laughs> we'll pull a more here. The lie determined text determined that was a lie. This, this person cares very much about what other people think of them. They care about how they're viewed. They want to be envied by other people. Yeah, they do always want to be the victim too. Anytime they get into an argument with somebody, it's, it's usually because of something they did or something they said. I got told they're like, they're pretty inconsiderate. This person's pretty selfish. They're inconsiderate. They don't really think of others. Uh, they're usually what causes the arguments or the problems between them and other people. But they don't own up to it. Hmm. I gotta tell you this for some of you this this is literally talking about someone you used to have a relationship with this used to be like a partner uh, this person's they seek attention they might even cheat or be a cheater do you feel like the two of you, I don't know if that's why the two of you parted ways. Tara was not telling me that at this point. But they have been involved with some kind of karmic relationship. Since the two of you have had distance. And it's, I keep feeling like there's more energies than just the one. So... They were cheating on whoever that was or had some kind of open relationship with that person. Mm -hmm. I don't think they get along well with people at work. They might have lost their job or been reprimanded multiple times or have trouble keeping a job. They strike me as someone who um, can be quite dishonest and you feel like that pulls into their workplace and into them keeping a job. Um, lying about getting their work done, maybe taking credit for other people's work or trying to make up lies to get other co-workers in trouble who they have something against or they have problems with. This person, since the two of you parted ways or since you things sort of went south for you guys. This person's always kept tabs on you too. Just so you know, this person's never just totally walked away. Uh, they might pretend like they didn't care. They weren't looking at you. Again, the lie detector test determined that was a lie. This is, this is a Mori one. This person's been watching you the whole time. This person likes to spread rumors, which might be another reason why they don't do well in workplaces because they gossip and they spread rumors. yeah I'm not a fan of this one double life that is see I keep getting pulled back into whatever relationship they had going on or might still I'm going to tell you might still actually have going on and not telling that person that they're keeping tabs on you 
I don't know. They got a whole lot of lies going on. I feel like the extent of it is actually more than you know. And I do think you're aware that this person is a liar and this person is a game player. And that definitely had something to do with the two of you parting ways. But I think it goes beyond what you even realize. I keep feeling like um, lying for the sake of lying. Like they just kind of lie to everybody. I don't know if this person is like a compulsive liar. They got a real problem with it. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, I don't like this one at all. Jealousy, envious. Uh-huh. I think they're dodging someone, too, right now. This has to do with whatever crazy relationship they took on. Um, after the two of you parted ways. Because I felt that right away that they were with some kind of weird like on again off again. Or something where it was an open relationship. Or something that was very karmic and dysfunctional. Or they were cheating on that person too. And they're like ghosting that person now. Or ghosting multiple people. I feel like they've been, they've been busy since the two of you guys parted ways. Busy getting into trouble with everybody else. I'm going to tell you this too. I, don't, I think they pretend. Oh God, I'm going to get such nasty comments for this. I, I got to tell you guys. I'm just telling you what the tarot card is telling me. This person pretends to play for both teams when it comes to dating. If you know what I'm saying. But they're not actually that way. They're just looking to widen. To widen sort of their victim pool. And people they can take advantage of. I don't think they go both ways. Legit, I don't think they do. That's what the cards are saying. They are they are doing it out of like a lie, out of a way to find other people to victimize or other people to dupe or take advantage of. It's just straight up karmic energy. Yeah, they're hiding stuff. They're hiding what they've been up to. They've been up to um, some weird online stuff too. They've been doing something online. They're trying to hide. This is part of uh, them trying to dodge somebody and ghost somebody. So I don't know if somebody's found out their online secrets or they're trying to keep it a secret. But because they're ghosting this person and this person is, is kind of crazy karmic energy, that person's going to be looking for them and hunting them down. I think they're going to stumble across what was going on online here. So we have something here about um, gambling addiction. Uh, maybe. I think it's more than that. I think it's some kind of weird online dating. <laughs> oh, gross. I don't even like saying this. Really, spirit? Okay. So it's like orgies. Like, they get into, like, multiple people things. I don't like going there. Bit of a prude to talk about that stuff makes me a little bit uncomfortable. Yeah. And they have been keeping an eye on you online, too. Just so you know, if you have any kind of social media or whatever, uh, this person's been trying to keep track of you. Even if you don't post anything, I don't know if you have family or friends who post things with you in it because you happen to go to functions, birthday parties, whatever. They, they try and track you through that, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, acting as a groupie. Yeah. I don't know about this one, guys. This one's a really interesting energy. Uh, we... I get told to set the cards aside. We're going for... We're going to go for some tarot here. So I'd like to know why this message came forward today. Like, what's, what's happening with the collective? Why are we hearing about this, this karmic person? I don't know if you're moving on. You're trying to build a new chapter of your life after all of this. Um, maybe you've met somebody new. Or you're just trying to sort of 
improve your home situation after getting rid of this toxicity. I feel like they don't like seeing you move on. They don't like they don't like it feeling like people forgot about them. Or like they were easy to get over. Like over it, moving on, this person was nuts, I want nothing to do with them. They don't like that. Mm -mm. No, they don't like being kicked to the curb. They don't like being ignored. They want... They want to be the one who does the ignoring and have everybody chase them. Even this person they're ghosting and trying to keep secrets from, that makes them nervous if they get found out. They like that game. This is so strange. They get off on that game. Whoever this person is, they're enjoying it. They're like, but they don't like that you've been ignoring them. They're like, don't ignore me. Don't ignore me. I would not be surprised if this person drives past your house at times or your place of work or shows up at your place of work depending on where you work and what your job is yeah because they know you're moving on through some way shape or form this person knows that you're starting a new chapter you're not missing them you're happy you're stable you're manifesting things for yourself this person is aware they're aware. Spirit, can you please bring me more? Why is, why is this coming out for the collective? There we go. We had a bunch that wanted to pop out and come forward. Hmm. Now, I do think you lent the money in the past. They gave you sob stories about um, a debt or, or falling on hard times or things like that. And I keep feeling like it was, it was you. You were the stable one. You were the one who earned an income. You were the one who had like a home or who had things to lend or who had things to give. You were the one who had manifested things that they could share because this person doesn't really take a whole lot of time trying to do that for themselves. And they were just nothing but burden because they just, they took and they took and they took and all they brought was drama. And there's something else going on spirit. Can you please, can you please clarify this read for the collective? What is going on here? Mm -hmm. I don't think they ever paid you anything back either. Like the money that they lent you. I don't think you ever saw any of it back. They keep getting like they owe you. You might not be the only one that they owe money to. They might actually have other people chasing them too. And this might be part of the people they're trying to ghost. Are people that they owe money to because I get like legal in here something with the court system something with the justice system they actually legally owe money to people and they're like dodging it they're dodging responsibilities oh yeah somebody's pissed off at them I think somebody's going after them financially in the through the court system and they're pleading poverty and that they're trying to ghost it. They're trying to dodge it. They're trying to plead poverty. I don't have no money to give. I don't have any money to give. Spirit. Can you, ooh, there we go. Those ones too wanted to come out. What are these guys all about? Mm -hmm. They've been trying to like take refuge with other lovers. And I think, I got to tell you, I think this might have been part of the game that they were running on you and giving you some sob story about somebody chasing them down for money. They just don't have the money. They want to do the right thing, but it's just they can't. Can you please help them out? They're not the only person they run that game on. I 
And then it's like they take money. And when that well seems to be like it dries up or somebody catches on to their crop, like they're just gone. They just take off, right? Looking for the next one. This might be part of their internet stuff that they've been trying to hide their online shit that somebody's about to stumble onto to their whole list of people that they've been chatting with and they've been grooming so that they can try and have a relationship with them and milk them for their money. This person's all about living at the expense of other people. And trying to put their burdens on other folks too so that they don't have to pay the price for it. They don't have to grow up. They don't have to accept responsibility uh, or accept any kind of accountability for what they've done. For what they've taken from people. For, for the hearts that they've broken. Because they hurt people. Like They don't just take money from them. They, they hurt people. They emotionally hurt people as they go through just breaking hearts, breaking hearts. They don't care. They don't care that people lose sleep over it. They don't care that people shed tears over it and have heartbreak or depression or financial troubles. They just, like, they don't care. Well, there's karma coming back around, though. There's karma coming back for this person. And that's what I could feel in the Oracle cards, too, is, like, they're about to get found out. Their online stuff is about to get revealed. And they're about to get found out. Everything coming back into balance. Yeah, all the worry, all the heartache that they've caused other people. I feel like those burdens are about to be put back on them. They're about to be caught. They're about to get the heartache. They're about to get the worry, the sleepless nights, the anxiety. That wheel of the year, the wheel is turning. It is not turning in their favor, though. I can tell you that right now. Yep. They're going to plead, plead poverty. But they do have money. Where do they get money from? Are you feeling like they've squirreled some money away somewhere? Or they've hidden money? So that they can go run away and start a new life when this catches up with them. They pack up and move. And I'm talking about like, like moving to another city, another province, another state. Really picking up and like moving. Trying to get away from this. And to start fresh. I think that that might be part of what they've already done, too. And how they've dodged it for so long. Yeah, they're wanting to move away. They're wanting to move away. I keep feeling like they get caught before that happens. Or they get caught in the middle of trying to run. Like this legal stuff getting sort of levied against them. And they realize it's all coming down the pipe and like packing up and taking off in their car and then getting pulled over for speeding and their name gets run. And it's like, boom, there you are. Because I, I keep getting like, they're, they're literally physically trying to run, trying to get away and put distance in between them and them getting found out in this court trouble and the money trouble. But it catches up with them. They're like literally stopped. Spirit, can you please give the collective some more on this? Oh, yeah. It's like the court catches up with them. Uh-huh. From their past coming back to haunt them. So their choices from the past. They thought they could pull the wool over somebody's eyes. They thought they could dodge this forever. They thought they could just keep running and running their little game. And nobody would ever find out. But it caught up with them. Because they tangled with somebody. Like the wrong somebody. 
Like, I'm sure you're pissed off about what this person did to you. But the one who's, like, pressing, like, legal charges, uh, really pursuing that in the court system, that person is angry. That person was not to be crossed. Keep getting in this card. Uh, it's like... It's like when the past person catches up with them, the one who's been running after them, it's like, hi, remember me? Remember me? You owe me, pal. You owe me, and now you're going to pay. Oh, yeah. The, the court system is going to hold this person accountable for whatever it is they owe, for the wrongdoing that they've done, on behalf of whoever this Queen of Wands is who's been chasing this person down for a long time. Spirit. I keep feeling the words like, um, dodged a bullet too. With you and this person, I think it could have been a lot worse. I do feel like this person was after your complete life savings. Possibly even like your car, your home, all of your belongings. And I don't feel like they got everything. Like I said, I'd, I could see in the cards, the cards were telling me that you did try and help them out and loan the money. And it's like you got burned enough times that you were finally, you had finally just had enough. I also got told with the Seven of Pentacles, the words just desserts. This person is getting their just desserts. They are reaping what they've sown. They want to, you know, live like a player, act like a player on somebody else's dime. Eventually, the shadows catch up. Their shadows catch up with them. Like they didn't learn their lesson. And now the universe is stepping in. Oh, to teach this person a lesson. This is the one I want to see first. Yeah, tower. Exactly, right? This person's got a tower coming. And it's one they made for themselves. Over and over again with their poor choices. And they're taking advantage of other people. On their selfish, inconsiderate ways. I keep getting in this, like, um, you don't know when it's coming, buddy. Like, the universe is telling them, like, you don't know when I'm going to show up, but I'm going to show up. And I'm telling you, I keep getting it's, like, when they're trying to flee. When, when all of this is about to catch up with them, it's right hot on their heels. They're literally, like, packing up a car and trying to drive away. And somehow, they don't get very far. That's when it catches up with them that moon card it's like their past finally catches up with them no more running no more running it's just a matter of time it's like this is on this is on a collision course this karma this path and it's just going to unfold the way it's going to unfold everything is set in motion now and that's the way it's going that's crazy guys i, I don't know who this person is to you I, I think it, this is an ex. That's what it feels like to me. It feels like an ex who you you got rid of, you got burned by, and you got rid of because you saw them for what they were. They are a nasty energy. But they're getting theirs. Their karma is coming. The universe is, is on its way to teach this person a lesson. I feel like lots of these secrets so you didn't know about all this this stuff unfolding, like the extent of their lying, the extent of the secrets that they were keeping. And that's what's going on here. That is the extent. This person is all kinds of trouble. All kinds of trouble. But their past and their shadows are about to catch up with them. That's what the cards have to say today, guys. Alrighty, everyone. Have a great day.